So more information has come to light about how exactly Samsung are going to set up the camera systems on the Galaxy S20 series. But it also tells us that the way Samsung are going with this is actually really quite unique and it's not really been seen before in smartphone cameras. Of course, we all know about the camera specs by now with the S20 and S20 Plus getting completely new camera setups. And of course the S20 Ultra getting that 108 megapixel camera sensor. But Samsung are doing something completely different with the zoom cameras and some information we got today clears up exactly what they're trying to do. Since the leaked specs came out, there was always a doubt in my mind how there would be 8K video recording on all of the phones, considering the main camera sensors on both the S20 and S20 Plus are just 12 megapixels. That is way below the 33 megapixels needed to actually shoot true 8K resolution. And if you follow the channel, you know I talked about maybe Samsung were using the zoom cameras for video recording because the zoom cameras on the entire S20 lineup are much higher in megapixels than you would usually see on other smartphones. The S20 and S20 Plus using 64 megapixel image sensors and the S20 Ultra using a 48 megapixel sensor. The problem with that though is that using zoom cameras to record video, they would always be zoomed in and that just is not suitable. Well, as usual, Ice Universe has given us the information we need. According to him, the zoom lenses with these high megapixel image sensors won't be used as normal zoom cameras. Firstly, the 64 4 megapixel image sensors on the S20 and S20 Plus won't be the usual ISO cell 4x1 pixel binning sensors. They will shoot at 64 megapixels all the time, which means that those 64 megapixel images will be zoomed or cropped into to achieve the zoom. The phones have been rumored to come with three times optical zoom. That is a three times zoom as compared to the main wide angle camera. And even if you crop or zoom into 64 megapixel images, maybe two, three, or even four times, you aren't gonna see a huge loss or degradation in quality. But this does beg the question, can Samsung actually call these zoom cameras three times optical zoom, considering that doesn't seem to be what they're doing with these cameras? You need at least the lens to provide that zoom to call it optical, but hey, this is what they're going for. The tweet continues that yes, actually, it will be those image sensors and cameras shooting the 8K video. So we must therefore assume that there is actually no optical zoom in these cameras. The camera lens will be a normal wide angle camera shooting video as standard. And then when you take photos, it will take the photo and automatically crop into the image to provide the 3X what I'm gonna call lossless zoom and not actually optical zoom. And another very good bit of news regarding the Galaxy S20 Ultra camera is that the 108 megapixel main camera sensor can shoot images with HDR. This is really important because it is actually HDR or high dynamic range that has allowed smartphone imagery to really take some big leaps forward in the last few years. It takes multiple exposures, some brighter and some darker, puts them together into one image and produces an image with better dynamic range. The problem with high megapixel image sensors though, for example, the current crop of 48 megapixel, 64 megapixel, and even Xiaomi's 108 megapixel camera sensor cannot use HDR in high megapixel modes. So even though it's really good to have the ability to shoot with high megapixels, the fact that it doesn't have HDR takes away some of the benefits of using the image processing that we get with smartphones. But the fact that the S20 Ultra can use both high megapixel and HDR at the same time means that that is a really unique camera. We've not seen that before in smartphones and it's definitely befitting of the Ultra name. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.